Well, it's a story that focuses in on the safety of your children. The Terre Haute Special Response Team is preparing for what ifs. And they're doing that because you just never know when tragedy could strike. News 10's Lindsay Yates has more on the efforts being made to protect area students and to stay on top of their game. You rely on buses like this one to get your child home safely. That's why the Terre Haute Special Response Team is preparing for the worst. And staying one step ahead requires practice. That's so they know what to do if a bus hostage crisis were to unfold. Unfortunately, with the day that we live in now, uh, we have to be prepared for that. Hope we never use it, but have to be prepared for it. This big yellow school bus at the Vigo County School Corporation garage acted as a stage. It was used to play out tense moments during an afternoon drill. What we try to prepare ourselves for is the worst. And again, we hope we never have to go down that route. But when and if we see the worst, we want to be prepared for it. Here's the scenario. The bus was hijacked with students on board. God forbid we have to go into something like this. We're going to be confident that we're going to do the right thing and solve the situation the right way. And the mock hostage situation is giving officers the chance to sharpen life-saving skills. When you don't train a lot, you, you don't know what your partner's going to do. And one mishap could cause the life of a child or one of us or somebody else in the community. And we want to do everything we can to avoid that. The school corporation is calling the drill a success. The special response team plans on holding more training just like this in the near future. Reporting in Vigo County, Lindsay Yates, News 10. Adamson's also said with every training session, officers gain more confidence, and that's the big takeaway from these types of drills.